for day for today, because we're doing the nine days, there is a minhag to make a seal each day from the nine days. And that's what I do every day in the 3770. I make a seal every day after Shachos. I did it for the past three days. So now I thought, I thought when I did this morning, the Rambam writes in Hilchas Malachim that when Mashiach comes, or he says, Al Yala Al Aleif, a person should not come up to someone's mind to think that in the days of Mashiach something is going to change from the way, the minute, from the way the world is acting now. A year from Chiddush says there's going to be any revolution in the creation of the world. The world will be running the same way it's running now. That's what the Rambam says. Now the Rambam writes also in the last halacha. Over there in the same chapter, he says, Azman, in that time of Mashiach, Lo the occupation of the whole entire world. Not only the Jewish people, but the whole world in general, even non Jews, will be only to know Hashem. Hashem now the question is such a major uh, transformation from a world that's into, I don't know what, a whole bunch of uh, things. All of a sudden, in one second or whatever, when Mashiach comes, the whole occupation of the whole world is just going to be to know the Hashem. Isn't that considered a change in the nature of the world? A change in the way the world is running? In Minhagish Alaylam, Alaylam Kaminagi Naik. Tanam says nothing's going to change between this world and Mashiach. And here we see that the world is going to be totally different. Everyone's just going to be busy knowing Hashem. So the Rebbe explained in a talk that according to this, this that there won't be a change when Mashiach comes, we have to say that even before Mashiach comes, the world needs to be occupied in knowing Hashem. The world needs to start being busy to know Hashem. Like that, when Mashiach comes... There won't be a change because this is already the way the world is already running before. Like the Rama also says, there won't be stealing, there won't be the yigzilu, the yashchitu, the game won't vandalize, they won't steal. The same thing. Already before that, you have to spread out the Sheva Mitzvah's Brinach, the seven no high laws. So the going that the going already before Mashiach comes should start keeping these laws. Like that one, Mashiach is going to come. It won't be considered a change in the world. It'll be. Obviously, it's going to be on a higher level, but it won't be, you know, from day to night, a massive change. It'll be a gradual change, so to say. Now, this is a word to today it says in the Sikh. And I was thinking, it says, the Rambam says in the end of Hilchas Tidies, that all the fast days, call that same as Eilu Asidim the bottle. When Mashiach is going to come, they're going to be nullified. There won't be fast days anymore. So maybe it's just going to be like a regular day of the week. No, it's not only we're going to take away the destruction, but he says, Not only that, not only it's going to be like a regular day, it's going to be holidays when Mashiach comes. It's going to turn into Yomim Toivim. Then we're going to understand how the whole Golus was only a, a stepping stool, it was only an order to bring us to the Geula. Like the Medrash says, that the whole purpose, why did David to make the Churban only in order to come to a bigger base of English? You can't have, uh, if you have a show and you want to make a bigger show, so you have to take down the smaller one. Like that, you can make a bigger one. It says, So, now, it also says that, um, that Romi. <laughs> it says that doesn't make it better. <laughs> uh-huh. yeah. It says, Kola Moedim, Asidim Bottle, be a Mesa Mashiach. All the holidays that we have until now, Hazal say, um the Shalom Shogolim are gonna become part of a Mashiach come besides for Hanukkah and Purim. So the and the and they explain what does it mean that everything's gonna be bought of Matat Khaz Mashalim. We're not gonna be keeping the holidays, rather the Geula is going to be so much greater than 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 the Tzias Metzrayim, and it's, this is what it says in in Masech uh, Tov in the beginning. That Kol Yemei Chayeches Lahavili Meitzah Mashiach. 
And even when Mashiach is going to come, even though it's going to be much, much greater than all the other holidays, but this, the other holidays are going to still be there, but they won't, the good is going to be so much greater than it that it won't, it's like it gives an example like uh, taking a candle in the middle of daylight. What's this candle adding? If it's the middle of the night, so the candle, you know, it illuminates. illuminates. So when we're in Golas, when we're in exile, so the holidays are like lights. It, it, it brings uh, it brings light. But once the good is going to come, it's going to be considered like daylight, that all the holidays won't be be uh, something special. That's what it means. They're going to be bottled. Now this that the Ramav says when the is going to come, all the fasts are going to become holidays. That means in Mashiach's times, this is going to be a holiday. Even in compared, which means it's going to be even greater than the Shalat Shagolim. The fast days are going to be greater than the Shalat Shagolim that we have now. Better than greater than Sukkot and than Pesach, greater than Shavuos. Who thought it can get any better? What? Who thought it can get any better? It's going to be even greater than, than the holidays. And actually, I heard it says... That Shavasar and Thomas is going to be like the first days of Yom Tif, and and Tishabav is going to be like the last days of Yom Tif, and the whole Beinam and Seven is going to be like Cholamoyit. Wow! And that's going to be greater than all the Shalosh Shulchan that there are throughout the year. Wow. So now the question is, to go from a, from Gol, days of Golus to these days, which is going to be such a change from days of Avelus, from days of mourning, to come to the biggest Yom and Toivim, greater than. Then all the other Shalom Shagolim, isn't that considered a bit of an ugly Shalom? Isn't that considered a change in the nature of the world? Especially according to what we said, it says in the Medrash, uh, on the Pasuk, Vafach the Evlom Lesos, and I will transform their mourning into happiness. Right. That's why the Gul says it's going to come in the month of, of uh, Menachem Ov. Isn't that considered a bit of an ugly Shalom? Right? So therefore, just the way that Ramam said that before that, before the. Just like we said mm-hmm. regarding the other aspects, that you need to do it before, you need to be ready, you have to ready, you know, make sure that the uh, ASIC of the world is Ladas as Hashem before, but that when it happens, it will be considered a change. We have to say that even before the three weeks, the Avelis is transformed to Yom Tov and the Gul, we have to do it already now. That's why it's good to make sense. Exactly. That's what the Gemara says in the Masech the Shabbos, Amar Abaye. When he saw that uh, that uh, someone finished a mesachta, one of the Talmud, even a young student, he, he finished a mesachta. He made that into a Yom Tov day. Now, and during the three weeks, uh, during the nine days, you're allowed to make a siyum, and that when you make a siyum, what does that do? It turns over the availus of these days. It turns it into a Yom Tov. Like that, when Moshe comes, that these days are going to be considered uh, the biggest Yom Tov. It won't be considered the. We're already living in a Yom Tov atmosphere through making a seal. That's uh, a word yeah. that I thought today about the uh, uniqueness of making seal in the nine days. Beautiful.